You know, I find it intriguing nowadays that more and more women that make certain money or a certain status are now freezing their eggs or putting the eggs in the chill box, for lack of better words. But in regards to Tahari Jose, a Jamaican woman, a, a lass of the 70s baby, she has put her hat into the freezer bag to start freezing her eggs for the last two years, since 2022. Matter of fact, I do you one bear. Let's hear from her mouth uh, why she's freezing eggs. Roll the tape. For many years, and I always say, be careful what you say. I think since I was 30, I'm like, I'm gonna freeze my eggs, but you know, I'm still, you know, dating and, and having sex and having boyfriends and long-term relationships and just. She belongs to the streets. I'm like, I'm gonna freeze my eggs. And eventually, um, 2021 and 2022, I did two cycles of IVF. Oh. God put me in a situation where I was able to do it, do it alone. And it was a very. <laughs> okay. So she freezes her eggs that time. You know, I'm not sure what is it with a lot of women, and she's La Afro Latina, that instead of rut walking and going across the streets, you know, on the cock carousel or any of those things for years on years from your 20s to up to now your 40s, now you are at a point in life where your grandma. Hell, maybe your mother, or, you know, wherever, if you're still intact family, um, from your own dad are pushing and wanting that you, hoping that you have children, and you're at the point now that it's possible if you do get children, your man has to look forward to is he's going to have to put his, his essence into a frozen egg, a petri dish egg to have kids. That's not a good look. That's not a good look at all. I mean, I tell you ladies many times, modernization, or even go as far as feminism, which is the same, has really messed up a lot of women here in the West. And not every woman that's going to make a certain amount of money like Tarari or even Ebony K. Wins or all these women now that in their 40s are freezing the eggs. And I'm not sure if she wants to be a single mother, which... It seems to me that's the route you're going if you freeze the eggs. But if that's the route you looking forward to, and you want every man that come across you that will take you on as a mate to look forward to that. Then I can have biological kids by the old fashioned way where they're gonna send your your nice little behind to pound plex city baby. But anyway, think about this. No man, I don't care what economic situation he is, ladies. It's gonna accept no freezing eggs. Matter of fact. Let's continue and listen more to the tape. Roll the tape, roll the tape. It was a really hard thing to do by yourself. One, because I was, I'm hard on myself, and two, because um, my eggs are in the freezer somewhere, and as a Latin, like, I'm Latina, I'm an Afro-Latina, like, me trying to explain this to my 86-year-old grandmother, she thought something was wrong with me. Because mm -hmm. at this big age, I'm supposed to have kids, be married, or have an unsuccessful relationship somewhere, a divorce, but then have kids. Like, what right. is wrong with Tahiri? And then now, no, no, that's wrong. Your ble or your Bella, your Bella, if I said right, was right. You should be having kids now. But you wasted your precious years, your twenties, thirties now, and now you have forties that you might not even see have children because you've been on these streets. And we all know that for all young women, do not fall under the trap of you just gonna sit there and just jump on one cock on the next cock and think that you're going to get a good results matter of fact men most men we put you in categories ladies where you fit into categories now i'm not a big proponent of this so-called 90 day or even six months then marry and ring no i don't do that stuff i think a man decides when what well, he'll put you in a category by how you move and how let's say submissive you will be in all aspects other than that you know, you're just going to be a fun in the sack. And then, you know, we get up, we keep pushing. But in regards to, you know, this freezing eggs and you up here um wasting your precious years, 
there's consequence for this. Um, let's be let's be fair, and honest. You know, I find most black women that might start catching this trend, like non-black women, but to find Latin women like Tahari, but she calls her Afro Latino. I mean, it's not always a good look at this point in your life. Now you're taking life seriously, you want to be a mother. That should have been planned for the last 13, 14 years at best. Usually, the man you were with earlier should have been one that you know hoped that. He will see you more than just a fun in the in the hay. I think she dated so many dudes from Joe Button and some other dudes I can name. The point is this, because I don't want to stretch out more, that you got prioritize the relationship more, ladies. These ladies that is revealing their shortcomings should be a testament that what you should not be doing out here in these streets. I feel like I'm in a rush. I think that's such a special process and I'm so like in awe of you for like even going and doing it and taking that step by yourself and still like striving and pushing forward to have that family. Cause you know, you can always pop those babies in there and that's push them on out. I, 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 and I love that. I, ta I mean, oh, this is such a rough situation. <laughs> And trust me, your time is very precious. Especially if if I'm gonna say if you're gonna deal with the relationships, if we gotta go there, if you're in your 20s or yeah, hell even 30s, it should not push no further into two years at best. You should not be in these super long term relationships that are beyond two years, four years, five years, six years, and it's not going nowhere. Usually you had to ask the dude when we get married and he keeps pushing on. Most likely you're not getting married. And you see, if you're in the business, which she was in the entertainment business, where you're dealing with rappers, athletes, and let's be honest, they don't make good husbands in the long term. And the reason why I'm saying it's because let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. These dudes got a preference of women. Unless you're one of the share ladies. And we all know most women say, like, the Afro-Latina, Tari, or any other women, even sisters, they're not in the business sharing. Now, they, don't get me wrong, they'll share... If you're a non-black man, if you're Mr. Charlie or anybody else, they'll all day they'll share. But if you black men, brothers, they ain't sharing. <laughs> Unless you're that type of nigga. But anyway, that's all my thoughts on to this. Um, leave your thoughts in the comment sections. See if I got it right or wrong. You know, this was a long one, but I had to deal with this because this should be a, a learning lesson for future women. And on a side note, Tahari is a millennial, not no Gen Xer. I'm I'm tired of you people. Key reference people that are millennials at at around 1985 or whatever 81. No, millennials start at 1979. I have a book that clearly defines this. And even now, if you go on your computer, it, it you look very closely, you'll see distinction of the numbers. They're gonna give you mixed numbers, but the point of the stream is she is a millennial. She falls victim to any of these people that, that was born after 79. No different. So leave your thoughts, comments below. Thank you for listening. And like always, the chaos reigns.